Hello and welcome back to yet another iteration of a WCQ meme review. This time it's the turn of the Europeans to experience the wrath of the, uh, the internet. Some of our brothers were a little bit upset about the last meme review because we just made fun of the Americans. Why is man on the internet making fun of us Americans? Why don't you go and talk about your own people? You know, if it wasn't for that, their communism in the socialist Australia that's right next to their dumb Germany. He's cracked the code. I mean, we just sit around all day and we just get government free tax money to play Yu-Gi-Oh. My Sky Striker deck is completely government funded. So let's roll the introduction with a uh, elegant shout out from the official Konami stream. I remember this this one streamer guy. He doesn't have like a lot of uh, followers, but uh, you should really check out his channel. It's uh, it's quite interesting. I, I think his name is like Fafa or something. He once said that the dangers are really good at putting a body on the field and drawing a card at the same time. And that was like just one sentence that really wrapped this thing up. And I was like, that sounds really good, to be honest. I don't know if this is a shout out or if it's roasting me. I, I genuinely can't tell. But you know what? I was officially shouted out on the Konami stream. I'll take it. I'll take it. And of course, it wouldn't be a tournament meme review without, obviously, far from complaining about the time rules once again. I think that's the only card you could lose to, and... Yeah, I mean, Denko would be decent here, but I, I still don't think it does anything. He's activating Nessie. Are we going to see oh Ghost my. Sister coming down now? Yeah, and Ghost Sister is yes. played the first time we have seen this on a European And you can stream. see him smiling, oh my! <laughs> Luca is completely blown out here. And Nessie has to summon. This is going to be free life points for Samir. The crowd is going crazy. They love this. Yes, just you can like... see Samir <laughs> just getting so excited. Luca, yes, this is not a buy. And shake. Whoa. You can see him shaking his head. Unbelievable reaction for I think it's about time that Dogwood finally showed up and won a game So I'm glad we've actually established and seen it happen on stream because when this card first came out I mean everyone knew it was gonna be for nothing other than to stall for time I need to stall for time and you with a brain would realize it was a joke I don't know how I feel about the existence of this card like the very fact that this card exists I I feel like shows that there's a fundamental problem with the the structure of an actual official duel. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably bring this up every other video until Konami does something about it. Please change these rules, no one enjoys them, this is terrible. And before we get into the bulk of the memes here, I just want to have yet another serious look at an actual incident that took place on stream here between Joshua Schmidt and Jake Quincy, featuring, of course... The time rose. Joshua's hand what a match. Not very Does Jake has enough time to actually go into the Gearsu though? Oh my god, this is gonna be so close. He can just go and summon the Gearsu and take the game. This is absurd. He has <laughs> two seconds. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. This is gonna be so close. What is what is going on here? It is gonna be on our judges and I think there might have been enough plays, but Joshua can actually chain the bottle load. So you see what happens here is that there is literally about 15 seconds left on the clock. Uh, the one I think on the top left there isn't completely in sync. The time is actually called when the judge puts the thing on the table. But great production, honestly. I, I, I th cardboard with some pen on it. I Listen. I, I, I get it, right? I'm out here with my budget bedroom basically as my studio, right? I get it. The point is, is that time is called roughly after the declaration of the attack. Jake eventually goes straight into battle phase after sending the borrow load and attacks for game. Should be pretty simple, right? Well, <laughs> nope. You see, just before the battle phase, Joshua is allowed to declare that he would like to use the effect of borrow load to reduce the attack of Ningirsu. Now, you see, the problem here is that, well... Is he allowed to stop his opponent from entering the battle phase so that he can resolve an effect? Well, there's two sides to this argument, and eventually the judges ruled that uh, Jake was actually allowed to attack for game, despite the fact that I guess Josh didn't really agree to him entering his battle phase just yet. I suppose the reasoning is that there is about, if you properly watch the clip, there's probably about a solid five seconds before this interaction actually takes place when the actual time card is put on the board. Pretty much, Borrow Load doesn't actually do anything. In this context and scenario, Borrow Load reducing the attack doesn't actually affect anything because the damage that Dingirsu is going to do is still going to be enough for game. There's merits and arguments to both sides of how this should have been resolved, but I think the point is here is that 
No one wants to be seeing these type of arguments happen in the first place. We don't want to have to deal with like judge calls over whether or not my opponent allowed me or didn't allow me or was he allowed to stop me from entering the next phase, the all important battle phase and when it comes to time. So please, Konami, again, if you're watching, please, please do something about these rules. At the very least, let people finish the turn, not just phase, the turn, at least as a minimum. I think ideally you should make it be end of this current turn plus one more turn, not five obviously like before, but I think one more turn plus ending the current one I think is a fair compromise, but I know that's asking for a lot. I know, I know that's asking for a lot from you guys, but phase is, is really unspeakably stupid. Next up, we've got the D word being mentioned. The D word. So then for any of the ladies out there who think, oh, this is a daunting task, maybe car games aren't for me, this is a testament. Zoe is here. She's doing really well on the day. Do you have any words for them? Any of the ladies who say, maybe, I don't know if this is for me. Don't be afraid to play tournaments because I know so many ladies who play the game actually, but just on dueling books or... Look at his face! <laughs> Look at his face! Online simulators, for those of you who may or may not be aware of why this is such a big deal, are uh, a bit of a no-no, kind of an open secret. Konami doesn't want you using them, they want you to buy their products and not play on the internet. But for those of you who are interested in playing on the internet, you do have access to the amazing app known as Duel Links. A full meta deck will only cost you about 20,000 gems, which translates to uh, hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Fun game! I enjoy, I, I enjoy it. Just uh, watch how you're spending your money on, uh, on there. It is a pure mirror match. France versus France. Salmon Great versus Salmon Great. This is all going to come down to skill. This is absurd. All I can say is, je suis Marcelo. I mean, that's <laughs> pretty much it. It is such a good chance here. France, I love France. I actually have a house in France. I usually go there during the summer in Nice. So I love French players. I love their attitude. And the weirdest flex in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! commentary goes to Marcelo. I love it is a French final. By the way, I have a house in France. I have a house. Welcome everyone to my Prank Kids deck profile. Getting straight into it, I played three copies of Prank Kids house. By the way, just before we continue with the deck profile, I actually live in a house. That's in the gate, but still that, all that that's was not enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, that was that such was a beautiful handshake. <laughs> oh, I'm going to... <laughs> this, this. Shall we do the fist thing? Sh shall never we just them forget him. this i will <laughs> and the next award goes to the most awkward handshake in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh streaming <laughs> what is this what is th what is going on what are you guys doing uh, 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 yeah mm. all right now the segment that the uh, their uh, brothers have been waiting for over there there and there texas sorry i don't know where i was going with that anyway Here's some Yu-Gi-Oh blunders. Lonely UK player. So this is a mistake, right? You can't summon Agar Pain there. Yeah, this is a very, very... Yeah. Oh. Kind of a sleep up here and... This is going to be uh, one less uh, hot red oh, arch yeah. feed abyss. So this is... You this can is see both uh, kind of smiling at this. Uh, Ah, uh, it could cost him uh, quite a bit. That's not the correct zone. That's not where that goes. No, no, that's not, you can't just make up arrows. They don't just spot out of nowhere, Jake. Listen, if you've ever had a feature match, I personally may or may not have had a feature match myself when I came 115th place at the UK Nationals 2019. Not that that's important or anything. This that's not relevant to this video. We're, we're not going to mention that for the rest of this. It's not. It's not important. But I am familiar with how nerve wracking and the pressure can get to you when you're playing on stream. Trust me. Why didn't you just normal summon the skeleton? Normal summon the skeleton. Was it that hard, Farfa? I get it. But this blunder is, uh, <sighs> woo. Uh, being popular again for this event, but Mystic nice. Mine comes down, uh, stopping whatever I was uh, gonna talk. Is he gonna pass? Wow. Oh. Uh, this oh. Is... It's, wow, it's clearly... an actual awkward... Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to prank kids. The only thing I know about prank kids is there's a house 
of which I actually live in one. N not trying to flex on you guys, but I live in a house. Marcelo, by the way, has one in France, in case anyone missed that. Did you guys know Marcelo has a house in France? He has a house in France. I also have a house here. Well, I don't own it. I, I just live in it. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't have that much money. If you guys want to, you know, there's a Patreon discord and i suppose it'd be a good time to share some links and so i have a discord uh join the community i stream on twitch uh there's a patreon there's a twitter so if, if you want to fund me getting a house in france like marcello then uh you yeah, know that's a good start two prime kids plus fusion i think i believe not 100 percent sure is probably full combo instead we opted to go for the other play which uh some may have thought was not correct, but uh, his opponent at least found it amusing. And that's Mystic Mind Pass. Speaking of censored words on stream, this one is probably not as bad as the D word in terms of Konami's eyes, but uh, we have another F-bomb. So we are going into the siding portion of the match. We have a lot of very passionate. The French players at this event were extremely passionate. Uh, I've met some of them before, so uh, shout outs to you guys. Uh, bon ani, uh, je suis ich bin ein uh, altergeist spieler dans le monde. Um, oui. You don't get another vocal because we already have a vocal in there. Yeah. I just keep uh, throwing out consonants. Um, a C. A C. There's a C in there. Six letters, then two letters, then seven letters. What card is this? Can you guess it? I got it. Necros of Bionac. Wow. Wow. Tell you what, I'm going to throw in an extra booster pack for resolving it. How? One of the judges who was watching um, thought that I'd put a card from my deck on top of my deck. Mm -hmm. um, so we talked to the head judge for a while and, well, they decided that I hadn't done this. All right. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't put a card on top of my deck. Just wanted everyone to know I didn't put a card on top of my deck. So thought I would mention that I didn't put a card on top of my deck, by the way. Hey, did you guys know that Marcello has a house in France? It's almost as irrelevant to this discussion as me getting 115th place at the UK Nationals 2019, receiving my invite, a play mat. We're not going to talk about it for the rest of the video. Oh, by the way, there is one more misplay. If uh, anyone here is uh, good at the maths and the numerals, you will be able to see on screen right now. That does not add up to 64. That actually is 65. If you're wondering what the other decks are, they are Dino and Infernoid. Shoutouts to our boy Vlad. Congratulations, this is your personal shoutout in my video. Well done, Vlad. I love you. Vlad has like seven tops and he still hasn't won a single game of Top Cut, but he's going to get there. With our support and our love from this... Uh, what do I call you guys? Community? He'll get there in the end. Well, I don't really have much to add to this, honestly. I feel like I've said everything that I've already had to say about this format in the uh, any WCQ meme review, so at this point, really not much changed. For those of you who are still sticking around to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you're wondering what the schedule is for the rest of my week, well, your boy here is going to be doing the regular return of the Banless channel. So hopefully tomorrow or the day after, I'll be doing the Banless review. And then later in the week, I have a really, really big video that I'm going to be super proud of. And it's going to be the Master Rule 5 Theory. Uh, in that video, uh, for those of you who watch me on stream, uh, we've been theorizing, coming up with a lot of cool ideas for Master Rule 5, and I think I've actually managed to perfect, with your help of course from the Twitch chat, a super cool and awesome prediction that I think could actually be very plausible. So that'll be something to check out later in the week. Thanks everyone for watching, check out my social media links down below, and until next time, adios. I gotcha.